In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello again everyone and welcome back, it's day 20 here. We are making good pace. I'm not sure it's going to take us the full 60 days to get this done, maybe I'm overestimating myself. The list is getting very small of actual tasks that we need to do, however the tasks themselves are a lot bigger than the ones that we've been smashing out so far. So it's kind of hard to judge, but we are making solid, solid strides here. And today we become heroes. I already have an account logged in, set up in the right spot with the miscellaneous key ready to hand over. Grip is currently in the correct room. However, the door is open right now. I'm just going to go shut it so hopefully he stays in there and I don't have to lure him again. It does reset every now and then though. First up, we're going to do a birdhouse run of course. But yeah, and then it's off to finish a hero's quest and get ourselves our own little kingdom. In the Fremenic Isles. Okay, click, 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 click. It's going to be very laggy for the first few minutes <laughs> while I'm uh, logged into both accounts at once. I've accepted this. <laughs> In fact, let me turn low detail on my other one. We also need combat runes. I've just realised we didn't pick any up. So we'll grab some chaos runes from the bank. Alright, that's all the bird houses reset. We're gonna go to Ferox Enclave real quick. We got six nests there, very nice. Another maple seed from one of them. Right, what's the best way to get to Brimhaven? Probably should have thought about that before, but I did not. I think it's probably just an Ardy Teller though. I don't think we need anything else for this. Oh, we've done the Lava Reel, we're on the Thieves Armband. Brimhaven. Do I have my account on the friends list? Hello there. Use the key. There. Boom. Right, this one wants to get inside. Okay. Uh, use the key. Oh, I didn't know they could follow me in. Okay, kill grip. Maybe help if we actually put a spell on. And then my man's gonna come over here ready to pick up the key ring. Okay, he's gonna get a key ring. And this guy is gonna head out while I go and hopefully remember where the candlesticks actually are. Nice. Okay. He goes out, he goes out. When I said nice, I got them on the other monitor. <laughs> it's weird that I'm playing on two accounts. I'm not used to this and I didn't set up it to record on both, because... <laughs> Me just walking in and out of the doors, not knowing what the fuck's going on. <laughs> okay, so use the candlestick. Drop it for him to take. He takes the candlestick. I go back to the rock. This account destroys its... drops its candlestick, I guess. And logs out. I go down here. Okay, let me close that over room light window. I think we are good. Very nice. Indeed. Alright, back to reset. Get the other ingredients. Okay, game's necklace to Berthorp. And that's Hero's Quest. Look at all that lovely XP. We got strength level, attack level, fire making level, wood cutting level. And we are going to the Grand Exchange, because I have no idea what I need for Throne. Throne, that's what it's called. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just get our bird's nests out and give them a little grand, grand, grand. 
Lovely stuff. Stick those up. Let's add daily 100k for free. Alright. What do we need? Logs. We can get most of this. We want a rune pickaxe. Dream and stuff to get there. We've already got the stamp. We need some flowers. A chocolate cake. Uh, oh, no. That's if you coin the guy. We need a ring. Okay, we can get flowers from the flower girl. And then an, an, a normal bow. I don't know. Short bow. Death oak. Okay, I'll just teleport to Barak. Have we got everything? I think we've got everything. Okay, we are gonna go to Miscellania. CIP. Oh, I should probably... Oh no, I can't cut the maples. I was thinking I should use it on something that I need XP in. But we actually need mining XP as well, so I guess it makes sense to do it on mining, because we have to get to like 53 or something for Legends quests. 52 maybe. Because there's going to be a point where we have to get up to 100% favour on Miscellania. So that'll just be some AFK mining time, I guess. Not that we really do AFK, but... Alright. Time to talk this woman into a marriage. Now, the unfortunate thing is, we can't do the follow-up quest to this that unlocks extra workers, because it has like a 40 Slayer requirement, and Slayer is just outside of our remit. It's not going to be worth training up 20 levels just for that, because we don't need it for anything else. Okay, now we have to go to the other side, I guess. Lots of running back and forth in this quest. Wait, oh, back again. I mean, we're getting a lot of alks in. Actually, while I'm running back and forth, I'm going to look up the high alk watch list. Because we're getting kind of low on rune jab heads and we've got enough money that there might be better options now to buy for profit. I mean, rune jav heads are one of the better options, honestly. They've got like a higher return on investment in a lot of things than pretty much anything with a, like, ooh, dragonstone bolts actually have a higher return rate, but they're worth less overall, so less profit per cast. It's an interesting conundrum. So if we needed a full stamina, full energy, just to get through this quest, it's actually crazy. Quest is, like, half as long as Hero's quest, for fuck's sake. Oh, shit. Did not mean to do that. Oh, well. Yeah, like, we're not gonna do rune arrows for 60 profit each. I think rune jabs are actually, the, like, one of the better options. I think I was on to a winner with my initial call. Like, dragon javelin heads are technically more money, but you invest more, so... It means stocking up more. Battle staffs could be an option, but you can't buy that many of those. I should focus on what I'm doing rather than looking at that shit. Okay, time to get the support of the people. Do we not have the miscellaneous plugin on? I don't know why I can't see my percentage anywhere. Oh, it's actually quicker if you do different actions, isn't it? But I didn't bring the other things. I, I also really don't know why I can't see this anywhere. Still can't fucking see it. You just keep saying, who are you again? I can't see my support. I need to know. Does it tell you in the quest log? It just says I need to gain the support of the population. I hate having no sense of progress. It's like my least favourite thing in game. Like, just make it clear how close I am so I know that I'm making progress. Rather than him just saying, who are you? And then I do the same thing a bunch of times and he's still saying, who are you? Gonna get a fucking level before I'm king of miscellaneous in this room. Ah, uh, you can't check with the locals until you finish the quest. You check with Advisor Grimm, but I'm not gonna go back in there just to come back out again, am I? You know you're at 100 when they stop accepting shit from you, so... I don't know why my plugin's not working though, because I'm pretty sure it has before when I've done this. 
Maybe because I was already in Miscellaneo when I installed it. I don't know. Okay, as much as this is actually decent mining XP, I feel like it's going to be a lot quicker to do each of the methods once because from what I remember, you get like a like a full 25% of it from doing something for the first time, which I think is a lesser known mechanic. So I'm just going to go check the approval rating. And then I'm going to nip to a, uh, I guess I'll go to the GE. 70%, you need 75, I was literally almost there, I'm an idiot. I guess we'll just go, well no no no, it's still going to be quicker, it's still going to be quicker. Because we still want to get to 100 either, either way, not just. Okay, we'll get a rick. Bang in. We'll get a lobster pot. Bang in. While we're at it, let's get a better axe, because fuck having this black one. Don't think we can use rune yet, so we'll just get an addy one for now and a rune one for whenever we need it. Cool beans. Alright, and then we're just going to go through here to get back. In fact, I'm just going to grab a stamina on the way. Yeah, so if we go around here, rick this, oh now it's showing up now that I've left and come back, okay so it must have been that I installed the plugin after getting here. Oh that hasn't given me the big boost I was expecting though, I'll do the other one too. Maybe I got it up too high already, it only works on a lower amount, I don't know. Okay we may as well just go finish the quest and then get the rest. Awesome! We now have access to miscellanea. So, I am going to put 500k in. I think that should be a decent amount. I'm going to take everything down, except herbs. Cool. And then we're going to go get our favour the rest of the way up. I will try just fishing once to see if it does give me a boost for some, for whatever reason. If not, we'll go mine because it was the better XP rate. And we don't really need that much. I don't think we need any more fishing XP. The boosts that are available are better. Ooh, we got a Giles. That is an axe. It gave me 640 GP. I'm getting straight out of there because I was slow as fuck. I got one and didn't get a huge boost. And then it was taking a while to get the second. So fuck it, we're going back to the, uh, back to the rocks. I usually do trees, but we don't have 45 wood cutting yet for the maples. I haven't actually got a very clear plan of what I'm going to do the rest of the day. So, getting this favour makes the most sense, obviously. Bird houses are still about 15 minutes off. I'm going to do big chompy bird hunt. Very quick you get that done. On bird and mistering for a little bit of crafting XP. That's a quick quest. It's one that we need to get done. And it'll help get our crafting level towards the next bird house at 45 how much xp do we need to 45 oh 20k okay that's not gonna be anywhere near is the golem better could start the fremenic isles the golem only gives 1k you need to do a lot of quests to get that crafting from just quests so that's probably not much of an option what's the quickest way to, quickest way to craft is it just cutting gems it's gotta be right rubies 215 rubies gonna be cheap as shit. I reckon we just go do that. Make sure we have the level for the uh, maple bird houses that we are almost able to place. Yeah we can do them on the next trip if we pick up both teaks from the first spot. And there we are that's a hundred percent favour on the hard task in the Fremenic area. We are straight to the GE. Going to sell these cut rubies. We are going to buy uncut rubies for however much they are. How many did I say I'd need? Shit. 215. Boom. What's the best item in my bank? Chisel. That's one ugly motherfucker, isn't it? You don't see that one often. Fuck me. It's the penance queen, I think. Jesus. Anyone who goes for that pet has serious issues. If you got it accidentally, fair play, but I have no idea how you even get it. All I know is that minigame sucks a big old bag of dicks. There's 42 crafting. 
thinking about it, I could have just bought the bird houses, but I'm an Iron Man. I don't think about shit like that. <laughs> I may be playing on a main account now, but I'm still an Iron Man deep, deep down. Ain't nobody buying bird houses from the G. Come on, dog. 43. Would you believe it? He's actually gone and done it. Honestly, the levels are not looking terrible right now. We've made some solid progress this season. Ranged is still obviously our uh, saving grace, our high light, the magnum opus with Pret shortly behind, but we look like less of a bot now. That's 44. And there it is, 45 crafting. So we can now make those maple bird houses. Just finish off these rubies and then sell them all. We need a pot. Just a regular pot. I've got one in the bank. But we need teleports as well, right? Possibly cash. So, just get the standard bullocks. Okay, CJP, I think. I don't need my chisel, did I? Oops. Is it CJP? No. Oh, I ain't got a fucking clue, have I? CJR! I was so close. This one is needed for the Lumbridge Guide, our FD portion. Do we not have to go to the Poison Guy? Oh yeah, we do. I think it's honestly just gonna be quicker to run back up there. Or like, the same amount of time, near enough. All right, there is Murder Mystery done. I think our birdhouses are actually damn near ready, so let's just go to Rock's on Cliff. Don't know if we're gonna have a chance to really do much else. Uh, we could start this, but then we'll end up going back to birdhouses tomorrow morning. That's the only problem. I feel like something bank standy would be better. Let's just get the shit that we need for the birdhouses. Oh, we never bought any maple logs, did we? We don't have any more wealth either, so we're gonna need a new one. In fact, we'll get a couple, because that's what we always do. Okay, maple logs. Should be plenty. They're not gonna buy the... There we go. I can't figure out what to do the rest of the time. There's the level we needed. I forgot potato seeds. There we go. Okay. Really not 100% what to do these last few minutes here. We could get some fire making XP if we have any logs. We've got various random logs, but that's not really going to be doing it. We do need fire making XP. I might just do, I might just go to the GE and do that just for a few minutes. Because I don't really want to start a quest or anything when we've got like four minutes and we know we'll be doing birdhouses. It's pretty safe to do this fire making because we need like 20 levels and there's fuck all to gain from questing. So the only quest that we may do is Enlightened Journey for a couple thousand, 4,000 fire making it gives. I don't even know if we'll do that. Where's my rune pouch at? I'm gonna go teleport to Varrock again to do this. Worked nice last time for the fire lines. We're gonna be just shy of the level, but not gonna have time to do anymore. Just two burns. I wanna just see if I can get my birdhouse shit back into my invent there. Dink, 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 dink. Perfect. And that's the end of day 20, folks. Well, 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 should we open the experience tab? 75k again to today, not quite as good of a day as yesterday, but you know, we didn't have all that cooking in there. Still a pretty damn good day overall. We got 20,000 crafting XP, 5,000 hunter, 10,000 magic, 3,000 in a bunch of different skills there, a bunch of different combat skills, 2,000 range, 3,000 cooking, a little bit of wood cutting, fishing, fire making, 6k, like it's just generally so spread, the 6k mining as well. Obviously Hero's Quest got us a bunch of XP in different skills, so it was very evenly split there and we got a few different levels. In fact, if we just go through them, we're up three fire making levels, one wood cutting level, four crafting levels, one strength level, one attack level, two hunter levels. Is what we've gained today. Not bad at all. According to my sheet, 
it's been a while since I've shown this, so it might be fun to show it for a lull. Uh, we've got 117 levels to go now, so if we all of these, like that. Thieving is still the highest away, uh, but we've got a decent amount of quests that give thieving XP. You know, there's some here, some there, some there, 15k there, more thieving over here. There's quite a lot of thieving in the list still. I'm actually four quest points over in this list of where we need to be. I guess technically we don't need to complete Legends quest to get RFD done, but it'd be nice for the XP boosts. But yeah, it will, the tasks a lot a lot lower now. Obviously, 128. We're on 123 quest points. That should line up. 126. Oh, I didn't tick off murder mystery yet. That's why. Yep, so this this is probably the plan going forward the next few days to get a few different RFD things done, but we'll see. I might switch things up a bit. But yeah, it's been a been a solid, solid day. Our money situation is now looking a lot, lot better because we've got a maple bird house online, so that's even more improvement to the amount of birds' nests we'll get. And we've got miscellanea online, which means every single day we're going to have a shit ton of herbs coming into the bank. What can we do with herbs? We can clean them and then sell them for profit. Or we can clean them and make them into potions because we need herbal RXP. Either way, it's going to save us slash make us a nice bit of change. So we're going to be happy about that. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Hit us with a comment down below. All that good stuff. And don't forget, as always. Oh, I'm curious all the time. Two days, 21 hours. Jeez. I don't feel like it is actually that long. It's just because I spend time AFK at the end of sessions like this. Anyway, around below, though, look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.